Um, I first met most of the cast at audition, during the audition process. The final audition I met Jordan Rodriguez, um, Dina, I met Alicia, I met Tom. And I remember doing the auditions with them, you know, reading with them and thinking, wow. And the funny thing is when they, when I read with a couple of them, I, I just thought, yeah, you've got it, definitely, for sure. And I was right. I wasn't really surprised when I, when I walked into J.O. Studios and they were there. I was like, I knew you guys were going to get it. You were just so amazing. And then I hadn't met Tim. I didn't meet Tim until the last week. Tara likes Ethan because he is the golden boy. He is like, the, of course, every girl loves the older boy, you know, a couple of years above and, you know, perfect at everything, beautiful, like best face, good hair, great body, all of that. And so I think she falls in love with him for that reason. Every girl falls in love with the bad boy. <laughs> Tara and Kat are just so different. Kat is very inside, she keeps everything to herself and, and um, tries not to display emotions and feelings because she's scared that, you know, she'll get judged. Whereas Tara, she just completely wears her heart on her sleeve and just lets it, lets it all out. I think that they balance each other in that respect. Tara and Abigail, yeah, have a very weird relationship. They. Abigail starts off being absolutely the nicest person to Tara, her bestest friend, you know, that sort of thing. And until she realizes that Tara actually has potential, she she feels like her, her place is going to be taken as number one, and, and that's that's just no go. You can't have that. She's a bit jealous of Tara. I think they're a little bit jealous of each other in a weird way.